Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your February 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So this is a new love reading, okay, for single Aquarians. So uh, it either could be that you're not dealing with anyone right now or that you could be talking to someone new, dating someone new, started a relationship with someone new. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? And then we'll take a look at the new person new love that you're dealing with or not dealing with it could be someone that you're meeting in the future okay so just apply this to your own unique situation uh we're going to take a look and see what you need to know about them their feelings towards you their intentions so apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post uh give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about um, uh, Aquarius here. Tell me about Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius in love? What, what's going on with Aquarius in love for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius in love? What's going on with Aquarius in love? We have the Six of Swords. That's your energy right there. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. You know, there was a period that you were really sad upset, unhappy, disappointed, and I feel like you're moving on from that here, Aquarius, okay? It could be in the past, there was someone that you were really interested in, but they, this person rejected you. You had a tough time moving on from this, but I feel like you're finally moving on and letting go. Seven of Swords, the High Priestess here. Cancer, Pisces energy. Seems like you're really learning to trust your intuition here. You're learning to, you know, I feel like your BS scanner is kind of like up, you know? Uh, let's see what else we have here. Ace of Wands. And the Nine of Wands. Nine plus one is ten. So what we have here is I feel like you're releasing all your traumas, all your pains here. You know, whatever um, whatever has happened to you in the past, I feel like you're letting that go. And I feel like you're allowing new love to come into your life. Wow, we have the lovers here and the ten of swords here. Mm. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that maybe, maybe in the past, some of you guys may, might have lost a loved one. You know, maybe they passed away. And I feel like it took you some time to get over that. If that's not the case, it could be that this person completely betrayed you by rejecting you here. Okay, the lover's Gemini energy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, Aquarius with that Seven of Swords, I'm not really getting kind of like a bad vibe from that energy. It's more so like you're preserving yourself. There's self-preservation here. You're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to protect your energies here, okay? Tell me about this High Priestess here. Oh, the High Priestess and the Three of Swords. Wow. I, I do feel like you're still going through some sort of hurt, some sort of pain here. I feel like with the Seven of Swords here, Ten of Swords, I feel like something or someone abruptly, something was abruptly taken away from you or that there was like just an abrupt ending here. The thing is, I feel like maybe with the Three of Swords and the High Priestess, I feel like you know that something was going to end here or that it could be a situation that you foresaw something was, was going to happen to your person. Maybe that's one of the reasons why this person passed or that you foresaw that this person might have been cheating on you here, okay? Uh, so I feel like, you know, there is an energy of you learning to trust your intuition more, okay? Because of that, because of this experience that you went through here. Ace of Wands. The Emperor, Aries energy, the Nine of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles here. So what we have here is 
Aquarius, I feel like you're really stepping up to the plate and really working on this past hurt that you've been through here. Okay? I really feel like you're trying to break free of this mental prison that you're in right now. Okay? So I feel like, you know, you're working on shedding all those layers here. You know? That's kind of like been keeping you stuck. The Emperor and Eight of Pentacles here. We have the Emperor and the Empress here. There is someone that you're heavily thinking about here. This is someone that broke your heart. Or, like I said, it could be a situation that some this person passed away. The Empress here and the Eight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about um, new, new love for Aquarius. Tell me about the person that, you know, Aquarius is dealing with right now or will deal with. What does Aquarius need to know about this person? Look out for what are their intentions, their feelings towards Aqueous for February 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs for Aquarius. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, we have the Emperor to the Empress here. And then we have the King of, Pen the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, this is someone new. Let's see if the other King of Pentacles comes out here. Let's see. We have the higher fin, Taurus energy. We have the tower here, Aries Scorpio. Aquarius, I feel like you're going through a huge spiritual awakening here. But this is about moving on from the past. We're healing from the past here. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely kind of like really leaning into that higher power here for ass assistance here. Uh, we have the Hermit here and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So what we have, you know, in terms of new love, I don't really see that happening. It, it could be that all these feminine energies, there, there could be all these feminine energies that are, you know, interested in you. But I feel like when it comes to love, I feel like you're distancing yourself. Because like I said, I feel like you're still healing from the past. You're he healing from a past situation that was painful here. So we have the Ten of Pentacles here, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hierophant. Tell me about this tower. We have the Three of Wands, the Hermit, the Moon, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands here. It seems like you're trying to move towards the future here. Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Oh, wow. We have the Kings of Queen of Pentacles. It's like there, there's an energy of like, let's say if this person has hurt you, okay? It's like there's an energy of like, you can't be with anybody else. It's this person, even though this person has hurt you. Let's say this person passed away. There's nobody else that you want to be with. You just want to be with this person. The moon here and the four of wands here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you might be seeing this person. Let's say if this person passed, you're seeing this person in your dreams. Let's say if this person has hurt you, you're seeing this person in your dreams where they're trying to reconcile here with you. I'm not really seeing new love here, Aquarius. Yeah, there's nobody else that you want but this person because I do feel like you guys do have a divine connection here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, even, let's say if you passed like this person passed away or this person broke your heart there's still there's still some sort of soul contract that's keeping you from moving on from this individual we have six of pentacles and the ten of cups okay yeah there's no one else that you want here it's like I, I feel like you've tried moving on but you know i just feel like you just have to you know allow yourself space to go through this process yeah i mean there's no right or wrong here i mean perhaps you know this is a right path for you right now so um, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.